Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. You would give the mind a good, solid place to stay, because it doesn't have many good, solid places to stay in this life. You can stay with the body for a while, but the body's going to change. Stay with things outside that are even more changeable. So you're going to find a place inside, and the closest you can get to the mind itself is the breath. So focus on that first. Eventually you get it so that you can watch your awareness in and of itself. But first you need this as a like a screen, a movie screen, when they project something, they need something for the light to bounce off of. So use the breath as something for your awareness to bounce off of. Get to know the breath really well. It's not just air coming in and out, because the air on its own would not come in and out. If it weren't for the energy in the body that brings the air in and allows it to go out. And it's that energy you want to focus on, because there's lots you can do with that energy. You can make it heavy, you can make it light, you can make it go throughout the whole body. It can be comfortable, it can be uncomfortable, but you have the choice of learning how to make it comfortable in every situation. That gives it the mind a much more reliable place to stay right here. When it's got a reliable place to stay, then it doesn't feel threatened by things outside. And so it's a lot more likely to do skillful things and say skillful things and think skillful things. But the important thing is you give the mind a place to stay right here, where it has a sense of well-being right here, right now. When they talk about merit, this is what they're talking about, that sense of well-being that comes in the mind when you're doing something skillful. There's so many forms of happiness out there that are not all that skillful. <laughs> but the Buddha wants to focus on, well, what kind of happiness is skillful? Or happiness that doesn't cause anybody any harm? Well, this is one of the parts of that happiness, the happiness that comes from when the mind is settled down and feels secure and solid, has a sense of well-being right here. This doesn't take anything away from anyone else and doesn't impose any burdens on them unlike a lot of other pleasures in the world. So develop this as much as you can. It's not just because it's a nicer happiness for you, but also it's, it's a more virtuous happiness, a more blameless happiness, something we may not think that much about, but it's important. You want your quest for happiness, as the Buddha calls it, to be noble, looking for something that's really worthwhile, not just more of the same old stuff we've been doing in the past for new, who knows how long. So set your sights on something noble, beyond the ordinary. This is one of the first steps.